Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a Blu-ray unboxing and it is going to be of three Japanese sets. Ever since I got some of the Demon Slayer sets in Japanese, I've been loving the look of these Japanese sets. So when it comes to some of my favorite series, series that I really enjoy, I might decide to pick up some Japanese sets over the English uh, limited edition sets. And today what I have for you guys are three sets. In total, we have the Quintessential Quintuplet Season 1, Season 2, and Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, which came with this really cool board. I actually really like this artwork. I prefer this to what I got from the Demon Slayer set, which was a huge one of these, and it was in black and white in color. This one looks really nice, so I can have this one displayed somewhere in the collection because it's small. It's just a small little tile. I can put it maybe even next to the, uh, the box set, so... I do really like this one, but that came with Jujutsu Kaisen. We didn't really get anything for the quintessential quintuplets, but I'm very curious to see what those look like. I do plan to sell my English set, which is now out of print, so I could probably get what I paid for all of these three by selling that when it has gone up in value now. So that's what I plan to do, and I will be picking up the film also as a Japanese set. So let's go ahead and get into these. We're gonna start off with Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, and then we'll move on to the quintessential quintuplets, which by the way, I got all of these off of Amiyami, and this is how they sent them. It came in an other box, but the other box contained figures, and the Blu-rays themselves, they wrapped them up in this plastic, but. All right, let's go ahead and get into Jujutsu Kaisen. Wow, already I'm loving this set. They didn't show any of the artwork. I don't know why, Amiyami doesn't show sometimes the artwork for the Blu-ray sets. When I bought this one, it was basically blank. There was nothing showing us what the artwork looked like. For the quintessential quintuplets, I did know what those were gonna look like, but I had no clue for this one. And I like it. Uh, I like what I see there on the front. Let's go ahead and remove at this out of the um, Aniplex plastic wrap. But we're not going to tear this one. These we have to be very careful because uh, with Aniplex titles, they do wrap these in such a way that allows you to rewrap them. Uh, that way you can put them on the shelf with this plastic wrap and not cause any harm to your box sets because... Uh, even though these aren't steel books, they do also get scuff marks when they're on the shelf uh, just through normal shelfware. So always keep these from Aniplex. So yeah, this looks awesome. Even with, without the plastic wrap, it looks even better. Uh, the back has a really cool shine to it. Uh, it's almost sort of like a pinkish tone. I love it. And this print here on the front has a glossy finish, but the printing on here is Perfect. I don't see anywhere where it looks sort of pixelated or anything. It is a very nice high quality image and we even have some shine there on his ring right here, which I guess is the promise ring that um, I guess they have between uh, both of these characters. I forgot her name. Sword also has a little shine to it, which looks very good, but I actually, I think that one has more of a shine to it. I think it looks very cool. So yeah, that's the front. Beautiful set so far. Here's the spine. Again, just prefer the Japanese text on here. Although I think even like for the anime and stuff, they always use these characters. So I'm curious if for the English box sets, if they're gonna use these characters or if they're gonna write out Jujutsu Kaisens. But I love the way this looks here on the spine. We have the big zero right there because this is the prequel film. And then here's the back. Again, very simple, but in this case, I like it. I don't know. And so we do have Jujutsu Kaisen here spelled out in English. And again, there's actually is a shine to the back. It's just in like silver. So you don't see it as much because it's silver on white, but it looks cool. I like it. Actually have that shine throughout the whole box set, even on the top and on the spine. So I'm impressed. Let's get inside and see what we get inside of this box set. All right, so this looks very cool. So we're gonna take a look at that last. Uh, let's go ahead and look at these first. We have two little booklets. Uh, the first one is in blue, and it looks like this is all just artwork. Nice, beautiful artwork in here from key moments from the film. That one there looks beautiful. So does this one. I think this is what they're gonna use for the standard Blu-rays. Oh man, that's a nice, nice that's a nice image right there too. I would have loved to see that somewhere, maybe on the back, because you know how on the front we see them, we see their front faces. This would have been cool to see on the back of the box set. Maybe a missed opportunity right there. Uh, and then we have that there. So this is a visual book. 
And then right here we have a making book. It's, it's weird that it's in English since this is a Japanese set. Uh, I mean, all the text in here is in Japanese as well. So yeah, I won't be able to read any of this. But we still also have some nice um, artwork in here. All right, those are the two books that you get. Now let's take a look at this Digipack. Oops, something's falling out. Nothing important there. But if I open this up, oh my God, look at that, guys. Doesn't that look awesome? I love these Digipacks from Japan. They always wow me, especially like the Demon Slayer ones and now these Jujutsu Kaisen ones. Although it's, it's curious that I don't think we ever saw a Blu-ray release for, the, for season one of Jujutsu Kaisen, even from Japan. I could be mistaken though, but I don't think I've seen any, but yeah. Look at those colors too. Like again, this is just, these are just some nice high quality images. No pixelations anywhere. They just look awesome. This guy there looks pretty creepy. I kind of feel like watching it again. I might watch this one now that I have it on Blu-ray. Turning it around on the disc, here's the artwork for the Blu-ray disc. Nothing on the back. And then on the right-hand side, here's the artwork for the, the DVD. And here we do have a ring kind of falling right there. So yeah, really cool set. I love it. I'm glad that I decided to pick this one up. Uh, I don't need to pick up the English release anymore, but I still do need a season one of Jujutsu Kaisen. So uh, hopefully we can get that at some point. Um, here's the J card, by the way. Um, nothing really we can see here. I can't read any of this, so I can't tell if there's a uh, English subtitles right there. I think I think, yeah, these are the subtitles, but I don't know what that says. Um, I do know that there is a 5.1 surround sound that's most likely for the uh, Japanese. You know what? That might be the English track now that I think about it because look at these characters. These characters match the top characters right there. So could be that we have the English dub here as well. That would be pretty cool. I guess we'll find out. Well, I'll find out and I'll let you guys know. All right, let's move on to the quintessential quintuplets now. All right, so these are a little bit more simpler than the Jujutsu Kaisen set. I've already saved some time and I've removed the plastic wrap already. Uh, for the J cards, we just have a little small little J card right here, but I did want to show it with the J card. Here's the front with the J card. And then here is the back. Again, can't read any of this. Nope can't read any of it. So uh, now let's take off the J card and take a look at the artwork here. So this one is season one. There's the artwork, beautiful artwork. I do prefer this artwork over what we got from the English limited edition. We have all the sisters here in their nightgowns. Here's the back. Looks like they also went with the, the manga art style here instead of the anime art style. Very cute. And then going inside, all right, so here's the artwork that we got here in for the limited edition here in the, in the States. So they still used it for the Blu-ray case. Here's the front. Ooh, I like this. Look at, look at Nino's face right there. I like her face that she's making there. And then on the inside, we have a lot of still images from season one. Wow, it's basically the whole series right there. I've never seen that done, but it works. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, so for the Blu-ray disc, here's the disc art. Different as well. I like it. And here's disc two. And then we also get a little booklet, a special booklet, as it says right here. There's the front. Here's the back. And what do we get here? Looks like a postcard. Ooh, nice little postcard. Yeah, we get a postcard which you can put on the shelf or something. Basically matches the front of this um, box set. And I don't know what this is. So I guess some promo stuff. All right, let's go back to the booklet. Okay, we got a synopsis of each episode. Ooh, and then we have some nice character descriptions. 
which I can't remember if this is the same uh, stuff that we got in the English limited edition. But I do know that this is a lot thinner than what we get, I think, from the uh, English set. And then here, so what they do in Japan sometimes, which I believe they did that before, where they released uh, basically in five different parts, they released five different Blu-ray sets. And what this set does is it's the uh, compact collection. So it just includes the whole series in one box set instead of spreading it out over five box sets, which I honestly, I don't like it when they do this because it makes it very expensive. I believe each one of these costs like 60 bucks. 60 times five, that would have been 300 bucks right there to get the whole series, which is crazy. Uh, so yeah, much prefer getting this, which I believe this alone was around 70 bucks, 70 bucks for this one. So a lot cheaper to pick it up in this compact version. And yeah, that's it. That's everything for season one. Let's go into season two. All right, here's the cover of season two. Of all of the flowers, it gives it a lot of nice color. It looks very nice. It did include all of the petals that we see throughout the, the manga covers, each color representing one of the sisters. So that's a very nice touch. And I believe they're all wearing wedding dresses. Uh, they look like wedding dresses, but they're very simple wedding dresses. I don't know what exactly I would call this, but yeah, they look cute. But here is the back, who will ever be his bride? Is that the same thing it says back here? Yeah, who will ever be his bride? Who will ever be his bride? Second season. Going inside uh, here, I'm assuming, oh, you know what? We didn't get a limited edition for season two. The standard editions already came out and I was very disappointed that we didn't get a limited edition of season two, which is why I decided to go this route. I actually never picked up the standard release Blu-rays. I don't know if they're ever going to make an English uh, limited edition, but for now, I think I'm just going to play it safe and I'm just going to stick with these. But here is the standard artwork that we saw everywhere for season two. Basically, they all got nerfed. Look at those chicken legs. Uh, the artwork from season two, definitely a downgrade from season one, but I still love my girls, so I'm going to definitely check it out. I actually have never seen season two. Um, I just stuck with the anime, with the manga after season one, but I do plan to watch it so I can watch the film because I've heard great things about the film. So I definitely want to watch uh, the whole series at some point. And here's the back. Again, they did the same type of uh, tiling that they did with the first season. And I love it. Again, all of the sisters here wearing their wedding dresses now. Same design on the inside. We have still images of the whole series there. And then here is disc one and disc two. I really love the disc design for these. Um, we didn't see that here in the States. It looks very, very elegant. Now for the artwork, we also are going to be getting a postcard here. Same thing as the first box set. And we have a booklet. Ooh, I like this, this artwork. This is some nice artwork right here. Let's see what we get inside. So again, that's just a summary of every episode. And I'm curious about this. So we have some more, and this, this time we don't have any sort of description. It seems like we just have um, artwork of each of the characters from season two. Although she should have short hair by this point, shouldn't she? There's Miku. I think these are all still from season one. individual blu-ray releases that japan got as well so yeah very cool love it so yeah that's it guys those were all of the sets that i got from japan i personally like all of them i liked all of them although jujutsu kaisen was definitely the standout here um i love me the quintessential quintuplets but you guys can't deny this is a beautiful limited edition right here so super happy with this one i'm also very happy with these as well uh, let me know what you guys think about these Japanese sets. Did you guys enjoy them? Would you consider picking them up over the English releases? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one.